And shocking new developments in the Casey Anthony trial today. Her father, George Anthony, took the stand once again and delivered some highly emotional testimony. Let's take a look. You told him that something had happened to Kaylee and Casey was lying. Sir, definitely something happened to Kaylee. She's no longer with us. And Casey was the last one that I saw with Kaylee. One and one adds up to two, sir, in my mind. You, of course, would never admit to a molesting your child, would you, sir? Objection. Argumentative. Overall, he can ask the question if he can. Sir, I never would do anything like that to my daughter. Was there anybody else there besides you and your daughter? Myself, my daughter, and God knows the truth. Okay. Now, anyone else on this earth, dog, anyone else you want to throw in there? Up to that moment, had you held out the hope that Kaylee would be found alive. Absolutely, every day from July 15th until the day we were told it was Kaylee. And joining me with reaction, Kimberly Guilfoyle and Peter Johnson Jr., both Fox News legal analysts. Guys, good to see you. Good, good to see you. you. All right, I, I watched a lot of this today. Um, one thing that struck me before I get into the testimony, when he said, I would never do anything like that to my daughter. I don't know if the, I, that struck me as the wrong answer. Yeah, it didn't seem like the most convincing answer. I and mean, people yeah. had a lot of problems with it today that were watching it. But one thing is, and we were talking about this earlier, the dynamic of the family is so off. I mean, it really very is dysfunctional. disturbing, very dysfunctional. You really don't know who's telling the truth. Is it enough to kind of muddy the waters for the jury to say, you know, this is a situation we're not sure really what happened? Is the father telling the truth? Is Casey telling the truth for once in her life? And I don't know. It doesn't seem like he's get, advancing his case. Overall, I would have called it for the prosecution. What do you think? I, I call it for the prosecution today, but there's a smorgasbord of deception mm. in, in this family. I don't know what to believe out of any of the things that these folks testify about. They contradict each other. Other people contradict them. They give prior sworn statements that are different from what they testified during trial. They change their testimony during trial, so sometimes twice, depending upon their mood. Sometimes they're happy, sometimes they're crying. Now the father has decided to cry. Right. I, I, as I'm watching this father today, I'm also watching Casey Anthony. Yes. Now, right. There are two things. That, first of all, we know she's a serial liar. Right. I if mean, her lips are moving. Lips she's are lying. moving. All right. So she's got a problem of credibility. I don't know if they'll ever. She's shaking her head here, and that was yeah. Her father's he breaking the down, and, yeah. and she's like emotionless. So I don't know. Is she a sociopath? And then you think about, well, how did she react when her daughter, you know? was missing she's you know doing the dancing in well, the clubs. i think you put your finger on it a, a great jury observer sean it, in order to win this case casey anthony needs to get on this stand i agree and cry they've she seen this emotion. entire family cry for the death of this beautiful little child but they haven't seen her except in reaction sometimes in strange reactions cry. She needs to tell her story. If the child actually drowned and if her father participated in the burial of that child, yeah. she needs to tell in detail that story and make this jury feel bad for her. He's right. Nobody's come forward to, to corroborate any of the statements that Jose Baez made right. in his opening statement. It I makes no sense about the drowning mm -hmm. or about the molestation. Right now you just have statements that he made that are not evidence and the prosecutor is going to go after it in closing argument. Yeah, I want to go back to the opening statement because he, he laid out this huge bombshell that that Casey Anthony was uh, molested right. and that you know that the drowning occurred well, he's had days now to bring this up and I don't see him making any he's talking about the duct tape did you see the right. duct tape on the gas can what did you call about the gas well, can I'm like well, in terms of the prosecution case there's yeah. a lot of holes in the prosecution case yes uh, they don't know the date of death they don't know the time of death, of death and they really don't have a, a, a forensic determination For of that. death but if Casey's going to go on the stand, she's going to go on tomorrow after all of this other stuff has been laid. And also, George Anthony's been asked all the pivotal questions. Did you engage in child abuse, sexual abuse of no. your daughter? Did you, were you aware of this drowning or this was an accident? No. Now, they're not, I don't believe, going to be able to bring him back on rebuttal. He's answered those he questions. Has, yeah. And so... If they're going to take the three-point shot, they're going to take it tomorrow. If that's what she believes happened, then she must, in fact, testify tomorrow. And I think Baez uh, would want her to 
This is his shot how does as the, an attorney. How Sorry does, to be so crass. Yeah, No, no, how, because I thought it was weak today in terms of the defense. You're right. And I'm thinking, all right, if they're going to rely on, on her taking the right. stand and you know, on cross, I mean, the prosecution they're gonna is going to tear day. Eat her They're going to go through every single day that she was hiding the fact that her daughter was deceased, that she was out at the clubs dancing, that she was promoting clubs, that she was getting a tattoo, Bella Vida, the good life, right. and showing no concern whatsoever, that she was blaming an innocent woman, Zanny Gonzalez, uh, Zaneda Gonzalez, and saying that that was the person that took her daughter. I mean, that is just somebody. Look, look at the pictures the there, Sean. That's what she was doing. That's what she was doing right. while her daughter supposedly with knowledge that she's, she's gone. Um, could they convince a jury that this would be the maybe a coldness or the, the mental deterioration of somebody who is a victim of sexual abuse? That's the idea. And how do they it, prove And it? I wish they had done a better job of that just in, in, a, in a lawyerly sense. They needed to show that there was a disassociation, that there was a break from reality as a result right. of this horrible, tragic, unexpected death. And that as a result, she was acting in ways that people do not act when they're grief stricken. And call an expert to corroborate they that. Had and a, say this and is, they had yeah. a, an expert that people yeah. were basically laughing at. La well, it didn't work. Today, yeah. it didn't work yeah. uh, at all. And so that was the shot on, on this. But they need to have this jury sympathize and empathize on the last day with Casey Anthony. It seems in terms to me of that case. if they get that empathy that you're talking about, or sympathy, or whatever you want to call it, that the only sympathy they may get is that she doesn't get the death penalty. I mean, that seems like... Right, but they kind of have nothing to lose at this point. We already know that she's yeah. a liar. We already know that she's had convictions and she steals, etc. But right, right now they need to see some human element, a mother do, take do, the stand and right. grieve for her child. Do, do you see reasonable doubt, Peter, Peter, at this point, enough reasonable doubt? They talk about this juror number four, I believe. As a, as a person. Yeah, I, I, oh, I, I think there are elements of, of reasonable doubt that a reasonable juror could make a determination you about in, in, in terms of this case. And they don't have to articulate them. In terms of the first degree, especially. In, in terms right? of the first degree, where's the, pr the premeditation? Where's the true cause of, of, of death? We have a pattern of lying, and that's one of the charges about lying. Um, but there's enough if a jury wants to set her free that they can, in fact, set her free on the top charges here in this and case. And that'll save her life. You think so? Yeah, if in fact they can show that, knock out the first, death penalties off the table then, and they'll get her perhaps on I one look of the at aggravated this girl, child I mean, abuse and manslaughter. There's such a disconnect to me. I'm looking at her, her father's crying, she's emotionless. She's out dancing, her daughter is missing. Emotionless. I, it, but we have to point out that, that in that same period, where was the, the grandfather who was the crying point. so hard today as a former detective? You, think, you, think, you suspect an act today? Why was he, why was he uh, accepting that she, the girl was at Universal, that she's with some, some unknown babysitter, yeah, that the whole she thing was doesn't here, make sense. that yeah, she was bizarre. there? None yeah. of this makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, it absolutely does not. And the jurors may feel the same way, and that's what possibly this, ta this case could turn on, because it's not going to necessarily be the uh, lawyer. Right, great analysis. <laughs> Two great attorneys. If I'm in trouble, I'm hiring you both. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, time to check in with Greta Van Susteren for a sneak peek of what's coming on the record in 19 minutes. Greta. Well, we're going to pick up where you left off on this trial. We're going to go live to Florida, plus legal panels here, plus Governor Pawlenty is here. He has very tough words for the president and for his competitors to get that Republican nomination for the White House. We'll tell you what he's saying about them. We're going to ask him about it. Plus, Senator Rick Santorum is here. He also wants to be president, so we have that and much more. And if you're in trouble, um, Sean, you probably need three lawyers. <laughs> Ouch. Well, I, I confessed to you the other night, you know, what happened when I was seven years old and the cops oh, wait, took wait, me uh, home. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, Winston, that, uh, you sent me another text message. You know, my wife's right. I writing, told you to stop that. My wife's right. Your you kids were watching. What are you thinking? I had hid that from them all these years. All right. Greta, in 18 short minutes, let not your heart be troubled. Our great, great, great American panel. Next.